With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is when one mole of the pure ethyl alcohol is mixed with one mole of acetic acid at 25 degrees Celsius, the equilibrium mixture contains 2 by 3 mole each of the ester and water. Reaction is given C2H5. OH that is ethyl alcohol plus acetic acid it forms ethyl acetate that is ester and the water the delta G naught for the reaction at 298 Kelvin is so in this question it is given that one mole of pure ethyl alcohol is reacted with acetic acid to form ester and water and it is given that at equilibrium 2 by 3 mole of ester and water are formed. So, we have to find out the delta G naught that is standard free energy change for the reaction at 298 Kelvin. Now, if we write the reaction that is So, at time t is equals to 0, initially 1 mole of ethyl alcohol and 1 mole of acetic acid are present, they are nil. And at equilibrium, say x moles of ethyl alcohol will dissociate and x moles of acetic acid will dissociate. So, x moles of ester and x moles of water are formed. But it is given that in equilibrium mixture contain 2 by 3 mole of ester and water. It means x is given. So, that is 2 by 3. So, 1 minus 2 by 3 that is equals to 1 by 3 and 1 minus x is this is also equals to 1 by 3. Now, we have the number of moles. So, if we find the concentration we will divide this by volume. So, their concentrations are, let's say the volume we will be V, let the volume of the reaction mixture be V liters. So, it would be 1 by 3V, this would be 1 by 3V because concentration is number of moles divided by volume and this will become 2 by 3V and 2 by 3. Now we have the concentrations. We have to find out the delta G naught for the reaction. And delta G naught, this is calculated as delta G naught is equals to minus RT ln K, K equilibrium or Kc. So this is the relation. If we find out the K equilibrium, we can find out the standard free energy change. So K equilibrium or Kc can be, this is equal to the concentration of the products raised to power their stoichiometric coefficient divided by the concentration of reactants raised to power their stoichiometric coefficient. Now, if we have to find out the equilibrium constant for this reaction, the products are ester and water and the concentration of ester is ester into concentration of water divided by the concentration of ethyl alcohol and acetic acid. So, now if we put these values that would become the concentration of ester is 2 by 3 V, concentration of water is also 2 by 3 V and concentration of ethanol is 1 by 3 V and concentration of acetic acid is also 1 by 3 V. So, this will be equals to 3 V is cancelled by 3 V. So, we have 4. It means we have value of K equilibrium or equilibrium constant as 4. Now, we can calculate the value of delta G naught by putting the value of K equilibrium in this equation. So, delta G naught at 298 Kelvin, it would be minus RT ln K equilibrium. Here, temperature is 298 Kelvin and R is the gas constant, which value is, whose value is 8.34 Joule per mole per Kelvin. Now, if we put these values, so delta G naught will be minus 8.34. 314 into temperature is given 298 Kelvin and this ln K equilibrium so ln 4 will be its value is 0.6 so this will become 
सॉरी इट्स यूनिट्स आर जूल पर मोल पर कैलविन जूल पर मोल पर कैलविन इंटू टू नाइनटी एट कैलविन इंटू एल एन फोर इज पॉइंट सिक्स सो इट वुड बी दिस पर कैलविन इज कैंसल्ड बाई कैलविन सो वी हैव दैल्यू इन जूल पर मोल सो दैट वैल्यू इज आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस दिस इज माइनस थ्री फोर थ्री फाइव जूल्स सो डेल्टा जी नॉट दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड फ्री एनर्जी चेंज फॉर द रिएक्शन इज माइनस थर्टी फोर हंड्रेड इन थर्टी फाइव जूल पर मोल सो दिस इज दैंडर्ड फ्री एनर्जी चेंज सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज सी ऑप्शन दैट इज माइनस थ्री फोर थ्री फाइव जूल पर मोल आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सोल्यूशन थैंक यू फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जे एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड स्टूडेंट्स download doubt and after that